All right, let's talk about some of these sharp line spectra from the spectroscopes. This is a spectroscope. You're going to point that directly at the bulb, and then you're going to look through the little window and read the scale off of that, and we'll provide that coming up in the video. But you're going to look at that, and you're going to read the spectra off of the scale on the inside without moving the spectroscope but pointed at the middle, you really don't want to run these bulbs a short amount of time because they will get hot and they will reduce the life. But this one is hydrogen. You see that sort of reddish purplish sort of color and that's going to be indicative of the hydrogen spectrum. And so we're going to look at the line spectrum of that. Okay, this is the spectrum of hydrogen. It has four lines, red line, sort of a teal line in the middle and two purple lines there at the far left. You want to note the location of each of those lines so you can write down the wavelength off the scale because we'll be doing some calculations with those. All right, all right, this one is helium. You can see it's a different color than hydrogen, which means it's going to get different lines. Again, you're going to look at it with the spectroscope and we'll see what lines we get and how that differs from hydrogen. This is the spectrum of helium. Notice the lines are in a different place than hydrogen then there's more of them but they're definitely not the same so you can use the positions of these lines as sort of a fingerprint of your particular element because they'll be different from the lines of different elements all right this one is neon you can see it is an orange color and that's like your classic neon bulbs a lot of times a lot of these bulbs get called neon bulbs but really that one that's that color orange is the only one that's actually has neon in it but it's a lot of those old motel signs had that neon orange in the bulbs. And so we'll look at the line spectra of that one. This is the spectrum of neon. We're not going to write down a whole bunch of wavelengths from this one because there's a lot of lines. But notice there's a lot of lines in the red and the orange and the yellow, but not so much in the rest of the visible spectrum.